Okay, everyone, let's do a quick sound test. Buenos dias. Uh, give me a quick sound test, everyone, and hopefully we are going to be able to finish our well day three. So it's good to see you guys, day three on wealth, asset protections, tax efficiency, funding, LLC trust. This is one of my favorite parts here, right there. So let me see, let me know if the sound is good and we are ready to go. Ralph, good afternoon. Let me know, guys, and we are about to go. And this time I do have the PowerPoint, which is good. So, as always, guys, uh, trading is risky, investing is risky, you know. Trade and invest the amounts that you can afford to lose. Everything that I show you is for entertainment or for my own account is not a reflection of your account. So what I do, my rate of returns is not a reflection and a promise of rate of return for you, but it's a good indication that I trade real money, real account for many, many years. So today we are going to talk about the rich and famous, and we are going to talk about wealth because this was how to accomplish true wealth in four months, right? We progress, we started day one, so let's recoup here. Let's recap a couple of critical aspects of the past four days. Day one, we took, talked about the importance of the three to one ratio for survival, otherwise the account will blow up. That was day one. We talked about also how your brain and your dopamine works in the way that the more decisions over time diminishes, right? If you spend too much time in front of the screen, day trade, day trade all day, your decisions and your day trading are going to be crap. Your investing decisions will be crap. The way the brain works is you need a lot of break, okay? By the way, I don't recommend trading more than one to two hours without a good one hour to two hours solid of dopamine and endorphin reset. So walk, get some sun, go at the gym. Maybe you go at the end of the day, do the power hour, the 3 to 4 p.m., and that's it. So really, if you look, I mean, me personally, I don't think you need to trade more than 7 a.m. to 10.30, 11 a.m. area, this four-hour range with a break in between, right? And that's it. Like, if it's me, 90% of my trading and investing is going to be in that window. Sometimes I'm going to look between 3.30 and 4, not even the power hour, the last 30 minutes, 45 minutes, if the institutions are positioning above, below, at extreme for a quick retracement. But most of the time, I don't like to do more than uh, three hours per day, guys, okay? Because again, diminishing returns for the time that you, you spend. We talked about also on day one, very important video, it was an hour and a half, how to pinpoint the supply zones, the demand zones, constructing a three to one ratio and using the probability power indicator to have reference points, entry and probability on your side. On day two, we talked about the strategies that worked. We went from 90% of the day trader lose money, right? So we need to put 90% of our money in something that is not day trading, right? So we talked about proper diversification on day one, and day two, which is key, because if you blow up your day uh, uh, day trading account at this point, with everything we've done this week, you should have either minimum to no money at risk if you do the futures funded account, right? So that you can redeploy this capital in $2,000 in zero DT SPY if you wanted to. And if you don't want to, then you can only do like this, 80% in the long-term investing and the wealth fortress that we are going to
to continue drilling on today from the wealthy, right? And then you could do 10% in income trades, like ESA, who's done $160,000. Uh, last year, I showed you the, 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 the conversation on, on, on um, Facebook, privately, with him, and 127 selling just using a well probability indicator, buy on blue, sell on purple, but he, instead of buying or selling, he just sell income, and he's constructing a, a safety of margin above and below. And ten percent of your uh, money into doing income trade, but and this is where we are coming here now to the basis of day three of of true wealth is that if you do ten percent of income here on your cash asset available into income trading or the funded accounts, let's say even if you make two hundred thousand dollars in the funded account this year which would be a beautiful thing, right? With no money at risk from your side, with the 90-10 split with the firms that we were going to tell you that are reputable and that pay. Even if you were to do that, you still owe taxes because it's short-term capital gain. So you are going to owe W-2, 1099, or K-1 income, right? So the beauty with the other 80% here is you can use tax defer, tax-free account, tax deferred account, right? And uh, and using a bunch of vehicles that are also give you asset protection. So today is one of the most exciting part that I like because day trading and investing is what I've done my entire life. But then when you study the wealthy, you study their tax returns and everything, and it was public in 2021, Look here, it was this uh, article from ProPublica.org, which is a free organization, about the ultra wealthy. And what we've learned is that those guys don't pay any taxes. But it's not like they fudge the system, they use the system to their advantage. So look here, Warren Buffett had in, in that year, $24 billion in increase in net worth. Net worth, which is not taxed because it compound as an investment. Like my investment, I showed you yesterday in my retirement accounts, the $300,000 accounts, they are not going to be taxed until I, I, I am taking the money out of the retirement account. So his wealth grew up $24 billion. He reported $125 million this, that year. He paid $23 million in taxes. His true rate is 0.1%. 0.1%. So probably, basically, he's paying no tax. And apparently, the richer you are, the same for Bezos, right? Those guys do not cheat. They use the cut tax system to their advantage. So what are they doing? Let's repeat. If this year I have a W-2 income from my companies, tax, dang. I have 1099, dang, from the funded account, right? And then let's say I have K-1 income from my partnership and my self-storage stuff with my uh, other co-investors, because a lot of my assets are trapped. I don't, I always like to be cash poor because I like to be an asset like this. So I don't have to have K1, I don't have to have 1099, I don't have to be W2, tax, tax. But here, what the wealthy are doing here is look, they take those huge portfolio gain and they live on loans. And when you live on loans from your portfolios, are you taxed or are you not taxed? Is that a tax? No, not only this is not taxed, right? But I can deduct the interest. That's the beauty of the American tax system. 
Not only do I am not taxed, but my interest on my loans are completely tax deductible, right? On some of those loans, right? Same, same with real estate. A lot of real estate is not taxed. You can offset income with passive losses and you can offset income with the depreciations and you can deflect the growth of the asset with a 1031 exchange. So when you understand how this wealthy are like jungling, right? From income to loans to tax deferred vehicle, then you start playing the game in a, in a smarter way to be really, really wealthy, everyone. So let's take a whiteboard. Hopefully I can get myself a paint to help you and help you. And I'm going to give you like a buffet today of wealth, a lot of gems that I pay personally $500 minimum with attorneys over the years, uh, uh, asset protection attorneys, tax attorney, tax accountants, and all the shebe. And, and listen to that, because this is very key. You do not need to be an ultra billionaire to implement those things. Even if you are 10, 20, 30, 50, 60, 100, 200, 400, 500, a million dollars in assets, you can start now. That's the principle of zero to four months in true wealth, is you start thinking, all the steps to really build that wealth brick by brick by brick by brick with a huge advantage and edges with patented indicators that nobody in the world has. You know, we are making it available to only 500 guys in the entire world because I have institutional contract that prevents me for 2024 to go over 500 licenses. So this is why we had to increase prices because it's very, very unique. So. You need to have the concept, use the indicator and the community, and just at any level of wealth, say, you know what, even if you have debt today, and I'll give you some tidbits, you got to start thinking like this. Think exactly like, like I'm going to share with you. I can only share with you stuff that have helped me. I'm not a billionaire, but I've done pretty well in my life coming in the US with nothing. So let me share with you, you know, and, and I'll tell you, you will have some bones today that you didn't think about. So let's go on a whiteboard or something I can write. I don't care if it's a Word document. This, there'll be, this will be fun. So look here. I have two choices. Let's say I have a $500,000 portfolio right now, right? Not retirement. So you've seen my retirements are about a quarter million dollars, 250,000. Not retirement. And it's a portfolio of stocks. If I buy and sell within zero to 12 months, short-term capital gain, it's like income tax, highest bracket. So I get the highest tax. Forgive me, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be very powerful. Over 12 months, it's look better because it's long-term capital gains, right? And sometimes it's around 15, 20% in the US, right? It's a lot better than here, where you could go up to 37, 39% on the highest tax bracket, right? So you're, like you divide your taxes, just by keeping your position over 12 months. Now, the idea of the end is to do like Warren Buffett. So let's say I buy Apple plus Amazon. We're going to say I bought Apple and Amazon 10 years ago, and that's all I'm holding. I don't sell, I keep on adding the cost average, add, you know, with the three to one, risk ratio parameter that we've talked for the past few days, which worked for, remember, day trading, 
swing trading and long-term investing. Minimum three to one. So matter of fact, buying blue sell on purple to the edges of the calculator is a lot better when you look at long-term investing with the weekly chart, right? So let's say you had a portfolio of Apple and Amazon for $500,000, but you never sell. And it compounds 10, 20% per year for the last 10 years. Now this $500,000 portfolio, no tax, because you've never, you, you never saw, right? So now the, let's say this conservatively after a 10 year compound is $1.2 million, right? Your net worth has gone from $500,000 to 10 years later to 1.2 million. By the way, totally conservative, right? So now you didn't get taxed, but you have no income to leave, right? You have no income to leave, question. So how could you extract some of that money, don't pay tax, like the wealthy and get a loan? Well, I have news for you. Company like Schwab and companies like uh, Fidelity, they gather to rich, very rich individuals all the time. So look, you don't think it exists, but it does exist. Look. So I go here, Google, Fidelity, Portfolio loan. Borrowing against asset. Ben, it's not a concept from Mark Nicholas. I am a genius. It's a concept from all the people who are very wealthy. When and how to borrow against your assets. You know I mean? And you can go at Fidelity and they can get you a line of credit, a line of credit like Elon Musk, at 70% of your asset. That means that for the past 10 years, I could have had a 75,000, 70% uh, of my asset will be, sorry, 10% uh, is 50, 50 times seven is 350, $350,000 in line of credit. While this portfolio went to 1.2 million, I was able to leave and take advantage of other investments by having a line of credit from my investment, which is taxed at zero. Is that powerful, everybody? This is how the wealthy keeps on getting wealthier because they have their portfolio not taxed for 10 years, 500 becomes 1.2 million. And that line of credit starts at 350 and it goes up and it goes up and it goes up. They use it for other investments that are also tax free and tax deferred. And they also use those lines of credit to live. Do you see this? Yes or no? This is not just like, this is one of the most reputable firm on Wall Street, Fidelity Investment. They'll give you 70% line of credit on your asset. Of course, I always tell everybody, if you really need money and you have an investment opportunity that is going to be less than 12 months or 12 months, then infinity banking is borrow at 0% on business lines, and business credit card, not personal, and then repay or repay or transfer again for another 12 months with another card at 0%. So 0% for 12 months, 0% for 12 months. Now for two years, I have zero free money available to me to do investments that I want and, and I need. That is, this is how you can be wealthy. Now, the other path, which is not wrong, but it's not the path of the wealthy, is you are in your W-2 jobs. 
You pay right out of the bat to your taxes, your 401k, this is great. You pay uh, 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 your HSA, this is great, right? But you don't have a lot left. And whatever savings you are, you are going to fight it against inflation, which is already pumping you, as we discussed yesterday, 12 to 20% devaluation of your money for the past three years. That means that this guy will have to start very early. Pay attention because this is very powerful. The two scenario. Scenario two, scenario one. The guy will have to start very early, maybe 2022, then maybe by 40, 42, he has his 500K, and then maybe by 71, he has his 1.2 million. So at the end, he will have 1.2 million. But look at this guy. He had the 500K, becomes 1.2 million as well, but all along, he has access to 350 thousand to seven hundred thousand dollars of equity line that if you can find good investments that return more than the cost of borrowing he will have a velocity of wealth a lot faster now there's other ways you can do that i told you you can take the zero percent financing on business credit on your uh, trading and investment llc's right but Another one, the, the third way is you do life insurance. I do a, I have life insurance, which are annuity. When I retire, it's guaranteed income. I can turn my life insurance into a guaranteed income. And now I can borrow the same, 70% plus against my cash value of my life insurance. Do you see? Do you see how powerful this is? This is how the wealthy get wealthier. It's the velocity of money. They take their asset and they get more asset and they get more tax deferred asset that creates more assets, that creates more lines of credit, that creates more asset. And that's the way Elon Musk does it, buying his Twitter, pledging his paper, uh, Tesla stock. That's how they live and buy properties. That's how they uh, 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 live like buy food and eat food they don't eat food on income they eat food on loans because those are not taxed and as i showed you the two richest men or some of the richest men in the planet when this article came up to, with all their taxes coming out they don't pay taxes they just don't pay taxes right because they live on loans and loans and loans can be a good thing if you can use them wisely, right? So let's go here or here. Let's do a slide so you'll remember. Here, rich lives on loans and collateralize and collateralize I don't know if it's properly their assets they don't spell properly um, uh, collateralize blah, 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 blah. change to change and uh, okay the assets, same. Okay, so rich live, they live L I V E on loans that collateralize their assets. So now let's get back. They avoid large W two, ten ninety nine, and K one income. They use asset they use assets that grow tax deferred or tax free in our case here what is tax deferred or tax free our retirement account right so defined benefit plan i have one 
with one of my company, defined benefit plan, you can literally, literally save uh, in re for retirement, in retirement account, literally contribute 250K plus every year. This is better. Solo 401K or 401K from your web. IRAs, the Roth, tax-free, right? My kids already are doing the Roth so that one day if they make too much income, at least they have all those IRA, Roth IRA for the first 10 years or 15 years of their life that is tax-free. I cannot contribute to the Roth IRA, right? But you can also do some uh, modification from IRA, normal IRA to a Roth IRA, conversions, IRA conversions. This is going to help you in our investments to have this idea of tax deferred tax free if you need the loan. Now, I'm going to give you a trick right there. Never ever take a loan from your for your retirement account. Take retirement loan. Anybody knows why? If I take a portfolio loan, only we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah. Only take loans on normal portfolio portfolio not retirement there's two reasons why two very very powerful reason why anybody has an idea why no retirement portfolio why never ever take a, a loan on your 401k or whatever do you know why Okay, there's two reasons for that. Number one, think about it. Let's say I have $500,000 in a normal Schwab account. And you have seen, let's say, roughly 250 almost in the retirement. Which account I am most likely to get in or get out to do my swing trading? I don't do day trading in retirement accounts or in normal accounts with cash that are supposed to be for stocks. Which account am I most likely going to go in and out? The retirement account or the normal account? See, if you don't know the answer, that's a problem because you're already not building those foundation, right? From zero to true wealth, it's a big problem. Because most people do the opposite. Well, look, think about it. Whether it's a Roth IRA, an IRA, a solo 401k defined benefit plan where I have tax defer. If I have a, a, a triple like I got on Combase, where am I better off getting in and out of there? The normal account here or the retirement account? This is very important. It's going to be your retirement account. Because in your retirement account, I'm not getting, they don't care. I don't get taxed at the end of the year on long-term, short-term capital gain. I am going to get taxed on my swing trading, right, from my retirement account when I withdraw from the account after 59 something, 59 and a half, I think it is, right, up to 71, I think, right? So I'm not going to get taxed. So if I'm going to do swing trading, you better off doing swing trading here. Let's put it. Better swing trade stocks or the trifecta or the trifecta of income, which is the stock you own and the deep out of the money part of the money puts all cover calls that you generate are better off than being done in a retirement account. Is everybody clear now? Give me a quick yes, no. 
Because every week, let's say you sell a deep out of the money put like ESA, you don't want to get taxed 36%, 36%, 36% each time you make income on those deep out of the money put. But if they're in your retirement account, it's fine. It's going to compound and compound for 20 years, 30 years, whatever time you have left, right? So it's, it's, it's very powerful. So better swing trade stocks or the trifecta of income, which is the stock you own, the deep out of the money put income and the covered call income plus the dividend income into retirement accounts. Now, this is where the opposite is true and most people do the complete opposite is they use, oh, I say in my, in my broker account, which is not retirement, I'm going to play. Like every, like now 20 years that I helped people, right? Traders and investors, you know? I've done this for 30 years. It never failed. You know, since 2010 that I was doing the mastery, it never fails. Oh yeah, Mark, I have a $50,000 account or $200,000 extra from my retirement account that I am going to play with, play with. This is the kiss of death right there. If you are going to play, do not play into a normal account because now you incur the short-term capital gain. Each time you get in, you get out. So what you need to go do for the long-term investing for the normal account, you buy, hold, you buy, hold, and DCA into the cycle till your T first. That's it. You've got to hold this this wealth because even above twelve months you still pay long-term capital gain, right? 20% tax. So if you are going to pay a tax of 20%, remember we are trying to beat the rate of inflation and Warren Buffett, which is 20%. If you pay 20% and you made 20%, you didn't make anything. Do you see how profound it is what I'm saying, guys? Because it might be clear to you, but most do the opposite. Most trade and day trade into accounts that are going to be taxed at the highest bracket. And most are buy and hold in the retirement account where it, you're not taxed anyway. So it doesn't matter if I made a triple on Coinbase. Take the profit and then go do a triple on Palantir or do a triple on Amazon. So you have a lot more leeway into your retirement accounts. Does that make sense? Now let's progress into, progress into asset protections. We talked about which account for what strategy, day trading, swing trading, less than 12 months, over than 12 months, and even better, the compounding over many, many years with your tax deferral tax-free accounts. We talked about the rich trying to reduce or avoid income, to show income for their tax returns. That's what I'm giving you the basis for you to be here. You start like thinking, oh, it doesn't matter if you have $10,000 of wealth or you have a million dollars of wealth. You need to start some to understand and apply those concepts. If they make sense to you, you know, double cross with your accountant, double cross with your financial advisor, you know, this is what I do. And I can only share what I do and what I've paid for to learn a lot of stuff and apply a lot of stuff. So now let's go to the next dimension. You have two choices. This is Mark, individual. And I can put everything here under me, my bank account, my house, my car, my retirement accounts, which is fine because they have asset protection and we'll talk about that, right? Uh, my real estate under my name, 
any kinds of work. Company one under my name, company two, I show up on public records, you know, public records as a partner or something here, 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 here. Well, if t and you are making money with W2 or 1099 from the prop fund. So W2 from company, 1099 from the prop funds, and K1 from partners. All of this can disappear in one day. One day. I have a car accident and the state or the trial awards a lot more than what I have left beyond my insurance, right? Or I get sued for negligence of something. All of this can be gone in one day. So even on the funded account, when you are going to become very good, you can start with the 1099 with the funded account. But some of the company will let you be an LLC. Now, why an LLC is very good? Let's say you put your cash in an LLC. So you have your cash in the LLC one. You have your house in LLC two. Now you segregate the asset and the liability, LLC three. You have your, uh, I don't know, real estate. And then LLC4, which owns, is a master LLC, and it's owned by an irrevocable trust, which means that you have beneficiary. I give, I give everything to my kids, but I manage it and take a management fee, right? And all those real estate properties are under the master LLC owned by the trust, which I don't own. Now, someone wants to sue me now. They come here, they say, oh, Mark has only $5,000 in bank account. Everything else is debt. Show a lot of debt. Even when you have a house, take right away an equity line of credit or a second mortgage, because when they pull the, 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 the public record, they say, oh, they are upside down or they have debt on the house. Even if you don't take the equity line, it shows that the equity line is there. So now someone wants to sue, they have to sue you for the cash account. They have to penetrate the corporate veil. Then they want to get your house. They need to get you through the corporate veil. They want your real estate. They need to go through your trust, through your LLC, through the corporate veil. And then if there's other partners in all my stuff, you have a very strong protection called the charging order with LLC. Charging orders. That's how they call the protection of an LLC, charging order. Because the judge said, well, I'm not going to give you, let's say there's $10 million here in the trust with the real estate. I'm not going to undo the trust and the LLC of this $10 million real estate empire here to pay the creditors from Mark, because then I would affect Pierre, Paul, Joanna, Tom, and John. And so the charging order protects all the other shareholders, including, depending on how the articles of organizations are written, including me here, because I'm a shareholder. And we cannot, like John and Tom here, cannot be reliable and responsible for the lawsuit that was brought on per month. So let's recap a couple of things. One, we talked about retirement accounts versus non-retirement accounts for taxes and the tax efficiency. Two, we talked about the rich, how they live on loans versus income, so they pay zero tax. Three, we talked about a couple of ways you can leverage your asset. Other Fidelity, 70% of your portfolio can be given to you as a business line of credit at Fidelity and Schwab, right? Or you can use 0% financing with business credit card out of your personal, and I will explain that next. 
your personal credit profile, right? Or you can use infinity banking, which is using a loan against your life insurance. You go to any bank and anybody, uh, most banks will give you an equity line or a line of credit against the cash value of your life insurance. Now, why is that super important? Because we started the week. No risk. Pass and be good in the funded account because it's very difficult. But if you do that, you have no risk. You are funded by other, you have time. You fund and you start contributing to your portfolio, your retirement accounts and the normal accounts. Then you know that you have those ways to, instead of showing income, you take debt, but smart debt to do what? Look here, let's say I have a public storage. Let's say I have a storage facility by me that costs $1.5 million, $1.5 million, and grows 300, now net me, $300,000 in revenue per year. Look how easy it is. Let's say I have the 500K here, portfolio. I don't sell my asset. I can either look for 0% line of credit for 12 months to bridge the down payment because if I take an SBA loan, it'll be 10% down. And the SBA, the Small Business Administration Government Loan, will give me 90% to buy any business, any piece of real estate I want. So now look, I made money through the funded accounts. I fed into the retirement accounts and the long-term portfolio. From those long-term portfolio, I can pledge the asset a couple of ways. Either I take 0% credit card on the business side of the LLC of the businesses and the investment, or I have 70% loan to value or fidelity or whatever, or I pledge against my uh, life insurance. So this is pillar one, pillar two, pillar three, pillar four. Now you play the game of being extremely wealthy. You need 10% of this asset, $150,000 quickly to buy this 1.5 million facility being pledged and giving a loan of a 90%, the SBA will give you 90%. I can go quickly here and Fidelity or any banks that pledge portfolios will give me 50 to 70% of my portfolio. Then I can come with the down payment here of 150 and after a year, with the net income of the 300, I can pay back myself the down payment, right? And still have $150,000 net income in the business. That's it, guys. I gave you today a lot of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful power stuff. Now, if you want to learn more about personal credit versus business credit, I'll give you a link. I help entrepreneurs too on the Think Wealth Differently community. We'll post that link. I have another group called Founding Mastery. Now, let me explain why. I explained yesterday, but let me explain more. This is Mark, and this is Mark LLC, the company, not Mark. Here, my credit report, my credit score is going to be 30% utilization and I think roughly on time payment. So that's 70% and the rest are like inquiries, you know, and stuff like that, inquiries. And uh, maybe there's 10% that is a recency of account, how recent your accounts are. If I go here and pledge and take personal loan for $150,000, I'm done. This is done. I will not be able to get new loans. I will not be able to get business loan here because most business loans are based, most business loans are based on your uh, personal credit. That's how they judge it. Even if you start an LRC tomorrow, I showed you a couple of things on the uh, credit mastery. Uh, you can obtain right away some credit with Chase and American Express. 
But if your credit is short here because you have high utilization and uh, my utilization is short and my credit score goes from 790 to let's say 615, 590, it's done. Nobody's going to give me a loan here on the business side to buy my 1.5 million facility. But if I know business loan and create LLCs, I can do what's called credit stacking here. I can apply two or three credit on TransUnion, two or three credit mixed, 0% financing credit card, or business line of credit, or lines of credit with Experian, and then two or three with Equifax. I do all of it within two weeks, get all my loan, it's called a round of funding one, and then 30 days later, it will report on my business credit. But it, all this money, let's say that I did a round of funding for $1 million, it will not affect my 790 credit score here because it's not on your personal. So when you understand the tips and tricks of the wealthy and how people use credit and how people use credit intelligently to leverage assets, I don't want you to go and get business loans to day trade. Oh, please, 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 never, ever, ever do that. It's terrible. you got to invest in assets that you know are an asset that have provided income and a predictable rate of income, like real estate, like storage facility, whatever, so that you know when you buy this asset and you take revenue minus expenses, you know how to service the debt ratio, there's loans on debt to service coverage debt ratio, if you can service the debt by 1.2, and you can invest in other companies. So everything that I showed you today, guys, is tens of thousands. I mean, I'm not joking, tens of thousands of dollars of knowledge, of attorneys, of mastermind group, of knowledge. When you have the knowledge and you apply and take action, guys, your life changes forever. And when you are part of the mastery group, here's what we are going to do is we let you also come for free to this group. Let me show you, which is the funding mastery. And then soon I'm going to integrate all the mastery trader that use our probability power indicator with the two groups. So again, two groups to stay with us. Number one, the think well differently. Everything is there. Like this is, you know, from trading to investing, to selling income, to using the tools and mastering the tools on a lot of stuff that are not on social media. So you can dig and dig on social media. It's some of the stuff are not there. I'm, I might release the day one of the event, but if they want day two, day three, they need to come here. It's a great community and it's free. So if you were below before on our Facebook and you went to Discord and you hated Discord the way I hate, I, I am not a big fan of Discord. This is a great community. You get your classroom, see your classroom here. You scroll down your classroom. You have VIP access if you're on Mastery. Other stuff, a lot of stuff are free. You can click here. You can have access to your, from zero to true wealth in four months events right there. You have your calendar of events right there. If I am out of town, when I'll be back and I'll be back next week. So now we are looking for the June calendar. This was the last event for this month. And then you can see at all time the, the calendar event, plus you get the link. So you don't chase the link, you don't, whatever. Then you have the community, right? So you have the event, you have the classroom, you have the calendar, you have the member, and you have the community. And you can participate in the general discussion and ask questions, future swing trading. Obviously, we are going to attend a lot more to the private mastery guys because they, they invest in us and they invest in this small group of less than 500 people at all time. And actually, right now, we are less than 150 people, right? So come here. We opened this thing two weeks ago. There's a lot of good stuff here, a lot of good stuff if you put your head into, and I don't know how long it'll be open. So take advantage of it. Jump on it. Let me give you the Think Well Differently link. And also, if you are interested in understanding business funding, I have classes right there on the funding mastery in this community of entrepreneurs. I'm giving you the link as well. And you will see if you go to the classroom, look at the free classroom I have for you here. So the free monthly event I have. 
look all the stuff on web. Commercial real estate, creative seller financing, unlock business funding and why. Master 2024 business key funding principle, start up buy a business, time and key to funding processes. So what we do is very, very unique. We have patented tools, right? Again, my BS is right there, right? It's not me like uh, taking a picture from the web, but it's our divisions, our probabilities. We have unique tools, we have unique process, and we really help you looking at wealth in a way that no trading room, no investing room make you a look at it. It is very, very comprehensive and holistic approach to true wealth. So hopefully this event was helpful. Don't forget next week, we'll do a special event on automation. And after that, it will lead to our 2024 bootcamp, which I have not done a weekly bootcamp where I train you every day from 8.30 a.m. to about 12 o'clock, every day, every day for seven days. Everything that I know about trading, investing, uh, everything to give you the base so that when you go in the live room, you are not like, oh, how am I using the tools? How am I structuring the three to one ratio? What funded accounts do I go to? What broker should I go to? What commissions am I looking at? We'll give you everything so you're ready to go and you treat all of this as a business. People say, oh, Mark, what do I need an LLC? Even if you are not going to do the funded account, everything that I shared with you stand as a very, very important way for you to really be wealthy. Get an LLC. You are in business. If you are a trader and you are an investor, you are in business. This is your business. When ESA makes $160,000 last year, this is his business. You know, he plays golf all day long. You know, he, he does it the easy way with selling the out of the money put. And I'll show you again his text from the Everybody knows Isa. If you have been in my community, Isa has been with me like at least close to uh, 10 years, right? And look, Isa on May 23rd, selling, not buying option is a trade. I learned from you. It changed my perspective on trading and health. Made $160,000 last year, $127,000 this year. And Isa is a, a lifetime ambassador. I have ambassadors, guys. I have the ambassador program where I want people that, especially if you were with us before, come, come because this is, this is a world right now. It's a crazy world out there, guys. And you really need one thing that will not go is trading. Even in 1929, the market was open. They were open from 1929 to 1956. This stuff will always be open when you don't have a job, when there's hard economical stuff, it's always an alternative. And right now, in the economical cycle, this is what I was telling you, you have a very short window of opportunity of being aggressive. Like maybe 2.5 to 3.5 years, and then it's game over. We have a new president maybe coming up, but when we approach the 2029, be very careful of the analogy of 1929. And I personally, depending on who's going to be president in November, 2027, 2028, I want to be out of everything. When we are here, back to this euphoria, anxiety and denial of the economy getting worse and worse and worse, and the world being more and more dangerous geopolitically, I really want to be prepared for probably one of the worst, worst economic hardship we'll have in our lifetime, guys, okay? I want to be super pessimist. I'm playing the positive game right now, as you can see with my portfolio. But I think if the market pulls back one more time, five to 10%, and people are going to buy more and DCA more, the next high, you need to be very careful. I hope those events was very helpful, guys. The past three days, you know, I gave you a lot of good gems there and there, there are departure points to dig and dig with the boot camp and repetitions day after day after day. Love you all, everybody. We'll see you in the Think World Differently community on the next social media. I call yesterday absolutely perfectly the 250 retrace when the mic kept on going in and out and in and out. I called the 250. Look, you can see my zones from yesterday's stream. 
you can see there were divisions. Buy on blue, sell on purple. It happened again yesterday, last night at 6 p.m. We touched one, two, three times lower high supply here on purple, and they bought on blue again this morning three times, and that was the range to play between the 50 and the 75. So if you look at our range, our divisions of first, our trend line, see this division right there on the gray, it worked perfectly because we stay all day, all day between the gray dashes from the probability power calculator here. This division, I know it's coming from this division to this division, and I know it's coming from this division to this division. Target, target, and you just, just play your target with a three to one risk ratio like we've done all week. So you came this morning even a little late, you do the long, you look at your ratio around what I told you, the 50, 55. So let's say you miss this point low, you go even here or even here, you know, at 61, right? But this is more the demand zone. You can see it, it's a double bottom. It goes to our edge calculator. So let's say you add it late a little bit here and your target is here in the next division right there. And look, that's a 3.84 to one risk ratio. And my stop loss is on the low candle here, see? Right there, it's low candle of the day at 52. And that gives you your 3.8, maybe the candle is right there to be perfectly perfect. 3.48 risk ratio. Do you see? I love you all, everybody. I hope this week was helpful and enlightened you to really think once more, whether you were with us 10 years ago, you know, obviously we are not the same trader and wealth builder than we were 10 years ago, but to still think differently. Love you all, everybody. You have a good weekend and be engaged. Be engaged in our social media. We are back next week. Be engaged in the uh, Think World Differently and the uh, Funding Master. Just learn, you know, those stuff. And if it makes sense, it makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it's fine. And there's no hard feeling. Take care, everyone. Got to run. I have a plane to catch. Love you all. Take care. Au revoir.